but okay they're done who's starting the coalition ajuran yemen adramut and mara pity that ajuran will not exist anymore <laughs> nah i'm such a bad guy i think i can get also those two yeah absolutely another coalition is adramut Mad ah mamelukes haha <laughs> davazir yemen yemen is yemen is in um, in truth Amazing. Yes. Yes. Uh, very good. Very good. Okay. Those are trade. Okay. Fantastic. Uh, let's some pause. Now we will need a little bit of time to, to wake and uh, wait and breathe. The Mamelus could start a coalition if they find enough support. And if we find enough Karakonyulu, uh, guys, I mean, those guys here could be amazing if we want to strike against uh, Mamelukes. They are allied with Shirva, Mushasha, Gilan, and Mazandaran. They accept an alliance. Hi, Herty. Hi, Herty. Thank you for the raid. Thank you so much, man. I. We are here only for the biscuits. <laughs> good, good, good. I think I will. I think I will, I will do that. Let's get an alliance with those guys. Because look at this, they have twenty-three thousand soldiers for free. Why not? Let's improve also the relations with them. Why not? Why not? Let's do it. Good. I think it, it will take some time before our friends, not oh here, sorry, our friends will start being useful, but so far, so good. Let's purchase a new ability. Uh, I think I will take the improved war taxes because they are always on and we are going to save some money. We are full of money on the other end, but I mean, why not? Good. Nope. Nope. Fua. We can do also some structures here. Let's go for the impressment offices. Plus sailors, local ship building time, local ships. Okay, this should be built probably in a, in a strong province. And I'm going to do it, but not yet. Let me see if I can do a manufacturing lasta. Let's do it. Okay, and that's enough. So far, so good. That's great. That's great. Amazing. Okay. Am I still in the truce against Makuria? Not yet. They're allied with Aniza and Shamar. Let me see the Mamluks. So they're allied with Aniza, Adramut and Medina. So if. Where is, where is Medina? Is here? Adramut and Aniza. Aniza is here, far away. Where is that? Man! 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 I can do something really dirty here. I can do something really dirty. I can declare war on um, Adramut, take the control, and wait for the Mamluks in my in my, in my territory. Man, I can do it. Yes, I like it. I I really I really really like it. I really really like this. What do you think, guys? Okay, we have to core a little bit. We have to do some, yes, you know, we have to do some adjustments. But after that, that would be good. I know that you, you mean, I mean, 
Yeah, then I could take the Mamluks co-belligerent, you know, but the world leader would be Hadramut. And Aniza and Medina would enter, of course. It would be much easier. If we do it when the Mamluks are in a war against the Ottos, that would be perfect. Let's go to the mission tree. Liberate Alexandria. I have at least 30 Kava and 40 Professionalism. Wow. Uh, professionalism, I would never have it so high. I mean, I can, but I don't have it yet. Not bad, though. Not bad as an idea. Okay, pack and, for pack and shot, I can wait a little bit. I can take the uh, the old and infirm. So to get more land, maintain this modifier, which is not so, so powerful, but... Now I didn't manage to steal the maps because unfortunately there is an issue. I need to have some units nearby, I need to have some uh, boats nearby, and I cannot move them. There is no Suez Canal, you know. <laughs> so now unfortunately I didn't manage. Pity. Pity, really. But what I managed now, we have all the Horn of Africa. Ah, uh, by the way, I think there is a mission. Right? You, ah, Unite the Horn, yes, of course. But I need also to complete uh, uh, first this, this... Yeah. I mean, it's pissing me off, but... If I attack now Hadramut and I take the Mamelux as co-belligerent, now we have... 33 against 45. Oh no, they are too many. They are too strong at the moment. And Karakoyundu is in a war against Ak and Kazan. Okay. Not bad. I just lost a lot of army tradition. Shit. But everything looks good. Everything looks good. Full of money, literally. Let me see. This is a very good one. Let's do it here. Let's do it in Garuve. The Ottomans so far, they, they conquered some parts of Genova here, of course, easy. They didn't take yet uh, this area that I think is Karaman or something like that. Not so... Not so... Not as expected, let's put it this way. Okay, the next reform will be in five months, more or less. Or one year. What I could do... Well... Mutapa, I could... Wow, Mutapa. <laughs> I could declare war on those guys and go south and try to get some more Africa, for example. Let's do it. Let's do it. So, let's recruit the general, um, declare war, and take Mutapa Scobelich. What? No Casus Belli? What the fuck? I thought that I did it already. Okay, let's let's do it with the Casus Belli as soon as possible. Unless the Ottos da, uh, do a surprise, which I don't think is going to happen anytime soon. Wow, when I see those, I mean, 22,000 men, 7,000 cavalry in those huge armies. I know that maybe their technology is shittier, but I have just to check when is my bonus um, on morale of armies 1505. I have to attack them before 1505 because I need to use this bonus. But I hope that the Autos will do something by then. So let's build Spy Network in Kilbine Pate, and now we try to think about uh, the southern part of Africa. Yeah, we have to do that. What do you think, guys? I think it's, I think it's the best idea. 
my corruption is growing. Oh my goodness, why? I didn't take a, a, a single debt yet. No, please! <laughs> okay, the, the, the Mamelukes decided to go for a Golden Age. Which I don't want to do. Even if I could do it very soon, because I will embrace the Renaissance. But the Otters will, will help me, I'm sure about that. Reform. Tier 4. Admin free policies plus 1. Leader cost minus 10. Advisor cost minus 10. Which is not bad either. But I think I would take the... No, I don't need any... I don't have any free policies. Advisor cost minus 10. Let's take this one. Not bad. Okay, now, hi Fedpa, ciao. Good, good, good. Conversions of the heretics all night long. Stay global Yemen. Oh, why a uh, noble rebels? Why, why, why this? Do I have a problem with uh, legitimacy? I don't think so. Not that big, at least. Anyways, whatever. Wow, I think I've never had such a strong expansion with a country before. It's really true that playing with the mission trees is a different experience. Okay, let's stop this and take one claim here. One claim there. And let's see. Good. In the meantime, 45,000 troops that are piling up. They're gonna be useful. A lot of rebels, really a lot. But I think soon they will be gone. So we can start thinking about the next war. What do you think, guys? The most peaceful game ever between the Mamluks and the Ottomans. The most peaceful ever. Oh, God. Really? I can't believe this. <laughs> I can't believe this, really. Incredible. Let's take down here the Aden and then we, and then we attacked in the south. So... I will take Mutapa and Mombasa. They're already in a war, so declare war, take Mutapa as co belligerent. It's gonna very it's gonna be very very useful. And we take national supply limit plus 33%. We're getting closer to the legitimacy and chance of a new hair, the second Negusa Negast. It's okay. It's very strange. It's very strange. But fine, every game is different, so. We might have to take care of the Mamluks alone, which is also possible, but I thought that it was easier without too much stress. But okay, good. Pretty good. Hi Nico, hi Solido. Thank you for the follow. Thank you very much. Okay, it seems that now we basically stepped in a big war between Kilva and Mutapa. 
and Mutapa has no no regions whatsoever on the sea, which means that I will have to declare war also on Kilwa and take. What is this? Ah, if you're Muslim, it works. Pity. Uh, and take. Ah, actually, I have a claim on Malindi. I have a claim on Malindi, guys. So, as soon as I, I take the control of this, I will declare war also <laughs> to the side. So, there will be three powers in war, all against each other, and I will try to take as much as I can. But I think it's the best idea. In the meantime, we wait for the Mamas and the Papas. Mamas and Papas, they are not fighting, so I, there is nothing I can do. Oh my goodness. Come on. Seriously. Come on. Good. Let's focus now on admin because I think it's best way. I rope. Wanna say that? Good. Okay. Um, let's focus on admin because we have the religious ideas to push and we have to expand a lot. So I think it's the best. It's the best case. Da, 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 da. They're the most peaceful. Most peaceful. Look at this Karako Yunlu, which is uh, so strong. Oh, yeah. And now they have 10 favors. So, after this war, I might convince them to attack the Mamelukes. That's great. That's really good. I like it. Very good, very good, very good. The idea is to take the control of Kilwa as much as I can, but especially this area where I will start... Uh, I mean, I need to take the control of the Golden Mines, you know. This is one, and then I have to take those. So the idea is to, to take all this part of shore and then go to the Gold Mines of Mutap as soon as possible. That would make, make me very, 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 very rich. I'm already rich, but that will make me very, very rich. Good, now let's attack Kilwa. They are allied with Betsy something, probably it's in Madagascar, yeah. Don't care. Uh, that's pretty fantastic. Hi Nano Cere, thank you for the follow. Hi Anacleto, thank you for the follow. Okay, Malindi is in our hands. Yeah, we're basically now marching towards the capital of the enemy and uh, we're fighting towards all together. That's quite good. And we have also a lot of rebels. We keep an eye always here. Medina. Ah, uh, they probably vassalized Medina or not. No, not yet. Interesting. Interesting, really. Okay, now to Kilba. We take the control of their capital. This is going to change a little bit the geography down there. To be fun to go colonial. Well, probably expansionist would be the way because here there is a lot of free land that we can expand and we can develop. We would be very strong. So also colonial, yeah, why not? Why not? Pretty good. No, that's bad. That's very bad. <laughs> I'm going to get stuck wiped. No, bad, bad, bad. Okay, one. Not bad, okay. That was okay. That was okay. Fine. Let's go. Let's push south and south and south and south. The 
green troops are the cover units. Look at this. This is the this is their stats. Land attrition minus 25%, reinforcement speed minus 25%, reinforcement cost plus 25%, but shock damage received minus 15%. So they're quite good. They're really good units. Like them. I like them. Yeah, similar to the banners. Yeah, exactly. That that's that's a good uh, that's a good comparison. Okay, here we go. We're getting close to the end of those two wars. Wow, we have also good hair. That's not bad at eleven. That's not bad. Not bad. Let's get the next stack in. Diplo. Fantastic. We are crashing now, also Kilva. Of course, Kilva has uh, also lied, so we will have to wait a little bit and take the capital, but the war is won, and then we can think about Ntapa later. Well done. Well done, old guys. What do you think about this? Ethiopia in 1492. Not bad, isn't it? I like it. Always keeping an eye here, always keeping an eye. Come on, man. We have to take Kilva. That's the only thing that we have to do. Let's crush the army before they damage something. Fine. Let's say the titles. Let's summon a diet. Mm. Mogadishu is Coptic, which is quite okay. Amazian Manpower 4. No, let's convert Mogadishu to Coptic as soon as... Uh... Oh, we have it already. Okay. Easy. Wait a minute. Do I remember the terrible war against Ethiopia with Florence? In my, in my Florence uh, run, I can't remember it. That's funny. Kriterox. Can't remember that. But probably it was fun. Or, 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 but not for me. Because you said it was terrible. <laughs> no, I can't remember, but I, I, I think... Yeah, I've done... I've played so much with Europe Universalis 4 or on the channel. Wow. Can't remember everything. And I forgot almost all. I didn't play for one year almost, and it's, now I am like a rookie. Good. So... Kilva, my sunshine. Let me see if I can do this. Let me see. Ah, not really. But 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 wait a second. I can I can border Mutapa. Sofala. Sofala is a gold mine. No 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 no. I want this one. I want this one and I want also this to shit. Oh man, this is gonna be a this is gonna be a disaster. This is gonna be the beginning of the end. I, I know it. I feel it. This is the typical. Now we take uh, Mombasa. 
I didn't take Zanzibar. Oh, fuck me. It was a bad mistake. What do you want? What? Why? Where's Mutapa? Because I'm in a, in, because I'm in a war against Mutapa, that's why. You know that I can do the big, big piggy thing uh, all together uh, and only once. Because now I can take the control of the golden mines of Mutapa only in the same war. I know that Zanzibar is more important, but to be very honest, that was not bad. That was not a bad move. The Mamelucks can wait. What do you think? Anyways, we're gonna see the end of this um, in the next episode, guys. I think I will stop here. And thank you very much for, for your time. We played three hours and a half more. We continue on Tuesday. Next Tuesday, we go ahead with Ethiopia. And uh, probably we... Uh, so, we, we did all the first line, all the, almost the second line. We still have the unify the religion to 75%. But as soon as we unlock the religious ideas, we will get there. Resolve the Sabbath issue, complete the secure religion, and yeah, everything fine. I think it's gonna be that this this part is gonna be easy. It's not gonna be a big deal, and then we will take care about, about the last part, and probably we have to conquer Egypt. What do you what do you think about the Malus for not having enough land? I really don't understand what you talk about. The decentral is a uh, decentralized state. I mean this one, Monte Ottoni plus zero two. Um, I think anyways I I have government rank, bureaucracy, Ethiopian tradition, and prosperity. So. I don't know. I think I can survive. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I, if you have any questions, please tell me now. I am going to be here with you for another minute. <coughs> Otherwise, I wish you a good evening, a good night, a good day, whatever. And we'll see each other next time. And don't forget to subscribe if you want. Um, on Sunday, most likely, I'm going to do a stream, this time in Italian, this time with... Uh, H of Price 4, so please feel free to follow me if you want or not. <laughs> Anyways, I wish you a good evening, a good night. Thank you for being here. See you soon.